Let's see. Yep, looks fine to me for now. So, here we go. Next video of Piglet's Big Game. There we go. He's just gently walking because, you know, he's little Piglet. And, and so it was that Piglet decided to follow his friend Winnie the Pooh in the hopes of helping him find some honey. Okay, so that's oh, the big my. dilemma of this Pig video, Pig of this dream. We gotta find Pooh Pig some honey. What, caramel wasn't Pig enough Pig for you? Pooh, have you heard of Pig diabetes? Pig <laughs> Then again, you are a storybook character, and you're aware of that, so maybe that's why you avoid it. I didn't even eat anything today. Like, all I had was a bottle of Coca-Cola. Um... Some tasty shake-and-bake chicken with some mashed potatoes and gravy. That was the only meal I had today, and then I had a little ice cream. That's all I had today. I'm probably under the calorie limit for today, so therefore I'm malnourished. Child services, come rescue me! Oh wait, I'm 19. Never mind, I'm fine. I can take care of myself. Anyways, Pooh, what do you have to say? I wasn't listening to what you said. There must be a way to get through this cotton candy. Perhaps Owl will know what to do. Pooh, why don't you eat it? <laughs> that's that's like a big dilemma. Why do we need to go to the all-knowing Owl just to know how to get past some fucking cotton candy? I don't know. <laughs> well, if it isn't my dear friend Piglet... Once I again, you're addressing me the same way. ...some cotton candy. Uh, let's see. The weight. And I like. Wait, wait, wait. I like how he knows what we need without us even talking. By the height of the cotton candy, minus the. Aha! A bit of water could be the solution. Water. Better to find water than in. Or we can get a fat poo bear to eat through it. Then again, maybe that's asking too much. All he wants is honey anyway, so. All right, here's water. Let's use it. Aw, that was too much work for you. All right, Pooh. What do you have to say now? I know the answer. Pooh Bear, uh, could you help me? Of course, Piglet. Could you press the handle of the bottle? Oh, I there we go. <laughs> to reach it, you see. Oh, a bottle with handles. I wonder why that is. What? I don't get that. Joke. I wonder what a ha bottle with a handle is. Now, let's see. I'll be honest, I don't know what a bottle with a handle is called. <laughs> oh! It squirted off a little bit to his side before teleporting oh, right in front of it. That did it. And now, perhaps we can find a rabbit and some... Yes, let's go rabbit. find the rabbit. Yes! <laughs> rabbit. I'll go find Rabbit and ask him if he knows where some honey is. Piglet, perhaps you should go and find Rabbit. Perhaps and you should. Shall Pooh, come on, it's your own honey. Get off your lazy ass and work with me. Oh, and also, Piglet, you know there may be half lumps in there. Half lumps? Holy shit. It's coming back to me. Oh my god, Piglet. Your lips are swollen for some reason. I know. We're auto saving. I think it's coming back to me, people. Let us slowly inch in there, walking casually, just to see what kind of thing could have made me not want to play this game when I was a kid. Oh no! It's coming! It's coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dad! Dad!
<laughs> uh, I should have shouted dad more. Yeah, I'm not chicken it out. Um, and I hope I didn't wake up the whole house. But yes, this is why I never played the game on my own. I was too afraid of this as a kid. Holy fuck. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, I'm spotted. Now, here we go. To kill the half a lamp, you press circle square. That causes Piglet to spit at the half a lamp, and then it turns into a potion, and is therefore dead. Collect the potion. And that's it. Surprisingly. Hmm, we're in a dark room over here. With a birthday cake. Hmm. Did he just put that lit candle in his pan- in his- in his- Not even his pocket, like his freaking body! <laughs> Anyways, three, two, one- Oh my god! Piglet should be burning alive right now, I'm covering my eyes because I don't want to see what it's like! Oh wait, he's fine. Hmm. And I thought they're putting tomatoes in his pants was put to this. The cupboard <laughs> appeared locked. Our friend Piglet would need to find the key. And I was just reminded of the fact that this was one of the games I reviewed on my old channel. Yeah, I barely bring up the old reviews for good reason. They were all crap. I don't really remember how much how I reviewed this game. All I know is that I ended the review of this game in this room. So, and I ended it by asking, well, after I was told I need the key for the cupboard, I turned towards the camera and I said, Piglet, do you want to tell me what the fuck I got to do? No? Then I got to destroy you. It's the only way. And then I pulled the game out and I pretended to smash it, by, and I just threw it on the floor. That's it. Yeah. That's all I can really remember of my review of this game. Well, anyways, we're not supposed to be in here now. Let's get the fuck out. We got the candle that's in Piglet's pants. Hoo-ha. So. Scary room. Hi, Piglet's in the mirror. Another half a lump gonna come out and, um, bite you. Um, suck you up. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is like an adventure game of sorts. Imagine this... Imagine this is what The Walking Dead was like, people. <laughs> Telltale's Walking Dead. And I'm starting to re I, I'm starting to remember we need cookies. Hi, rabbit. I'm just kicking some shit. There we go. More co- Oh, fuck. God damn it, rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Oh, hello, piglet. I'm afraid I haven't much time to chat. I'm very busy, you see. I was just hoping to find some honey. Everyone's always in search of honey. First, um, only poo. The honey in my cupboard, and now you. Anyway, I'm fresh out. Oh, where then do you think I might find some more? If it's not too much trouble, that is. More honey? Well, there is some next to the beehive. Oh, but it's quite dangerous, Piglet. The bees won't let you near their honey. And Indeed, they won't. <laughs> from their beehive. It's, I wonder why Pooh survives encounters with the bees. And here we go. The cookies are still out. And there we go. Up oh, over there. No, no cookies. There we go. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Chocolate chip cookies, which I hate because I hate chocolates. Um, uh, whoa. There we go. Uh. And of course we gotta go back. 
And of course it goes to the exact same place. And... No more, no more, no more. Mm. Oh, it's a Christopher Robin blue. Cheer- Let's see what it does. So Piglet's sitting in limbo. Everything will be alright, Piglet. To overcome your fears, you must believe in yourself. Oh, thank you, Christopher Robin. I, I, I feel better already. That helped a lot. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. We just get a cutscene of Piglet going into limbo. Christopher Robin shows up and that's it. Tells him, oh, just be brave. Sure. And what's this over here? Oh my god, we're spending cookies! Huh? I wonder what we're gonna see! <laughs> we won something! Oh my god! Let's see. Ah! Oh. What the fuck? What did, what, would, what did that do? We just see Piglet- we just see another Piglet making a face, like a freaky face, like trying to be scary? Uh, I don't know what that is. They're the bees! Oh no, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! Anyways... What the hell's that thing? I have no idea what the fuck that thing is, so... It's definitely not a heffalump. So what is it? Oh my god! Yeah, let's get into combat with this thingamajig. Oh, that's what it did! We get a new scare! There we go. Instant death. What the fuck? What does that do? Oh, we push it. It's a puzzle. Well, this ought to be self-explanatory. Uh... So the bees would rather get what looks like raspberries over their own honey. I understand bees like sweet stuff, but honey is kind of one of their priorities. And so, Piglet was able to reach the honey. Now, he could easily fill an entire honey pot. I guess we need a honey pot. Uh, I don't think the bees are going to be leaving, so... The raspberries... So, let's go... Actually, I think I found out another reason they may want the raspberries. Um... Because they are afraid that this movie that the game is based on is gonna appear at the Golden Raspberry Awards, so they tried to kill all the raspberries. And oh, and you'll need a honey pot too, won't you? Well, here's the key that unlocks a cupboard in my kitchen. There you'll find a pot ready to be filled with honey. Oh, well you know. Thank you, Rabbit. Was was the actor playing Piglet falling asleep over there <laughs> on that line? Wow. To think this is what the people of the Hundred Acre Wood do. What the... Oh, God. Not again. Not again! Alright, motherfucker. Let's do this. What? Bam, 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 bam. Yes! Scary face! Oh, my God! Oh, fish him off with spitting. Perfect. <laughs> Thought I could have died there. Anyways, let's go in here. Um. Bop, 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 bop. Let's see. Where the fuck is the thing? Oh my god, it's not the half a lump. It's the thing again. The... 
Haha, -ha, guy! Who we just spit at. Oh my god, he spit in my face! Now I'm not gonna be able to get a girlfriend! My life is over! <laughs> The cupboard appeared like Fuck you. There's a honey pot. And now all I need to do is fill it with honey. Um, Piglet, you shouldn't leave the key in the cupboard. You're gonna prompt thieves to come in. Burglars. Eh, it's not your place, so you don't care. <laughs> Up, oh, not there. Over here. Let's go get Pooh's honey. Honey, 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 honey. And where'd Rabbit go? Eh. Probably contacting the police about his stolen goods. The Hundred Acre Wood Militia. No doubt funding the school that Christopher Robin goes to. And so, Piglet was Fuck. able to reach the hunt. Oh, I, I think Pooh will be very happy. <laughs> sure he will. And so, at last, Piglet had filled his honey pot. And now, we go take the honey to Pooh, who will eat the honey, and then he'll just ask for more honey, and then the cycle continues for the whole game. At least that's what I think it's going to be like, because I have low expectations. And then we have another haha. -ha. Ah! Spitting in your face is not good enough now! You must be murdered! You must get a heart attack <laughs> from me screaming in your face completely right the fuck out of nowhere. <laughs> uh. And that was it, I guess. We go in here. Where's Pooh? Pooh, where'd you go? Maybe he went to go to the caramel again. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. More haha. -ha. Turn around. I'm right here. Here we go. Challenge. New challenger, Piglet versus the blue, um, thing with fangs, which is defeated by two spits to the face. Piglet must have mono. Now, all right, now, our friend over here definitely has mono at this point. His spleen hurts so bad, he can't take it. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> well, I'll put you out of your misery now, and it looks like he has friends close by. Ha-ha! Here I am! So how is death going to be dealt this time? With a scream! Which is only mildly irritating, so let's follow it up with some... Another saliva-related... Another disease that can spread through saliva. Maybe Ebola, or... Hmm... Not HIV. I know HIV can only spread through, like, blood and, and maybe other... Blood and any other fluid, but then saliva, I think. I don't know. Anyways, here's Pooh. Let's get up, fuck. Honey, honey, honey. Honey for we need the Pooh. Oh, it's just for you. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. What's with the graphical glitches? <laughs> Pooh, what's the matter with your eye? Pooh, what's the matter with your eyes? 
Frank and Bentley to you are a very What's the matter with your mouth? What's the matter with everything? You're welcome, fool. Piglet, what's the matter with your eyebrows? <laughs> Yay, Pooh, so happy. And so, despite the heffalumps, and despite the woozles... Oh, woozles, you finally introduced them. Thank you, game. <laughs> Thank you, narrator. Well, there's another FMV. Who is happily singing in a sleeping in a tree? My mistake, not singing. Delicious. Oh no, the yummiest honey I've ever eaten. There you go. Eat it in your sleep. Freddy Krueger slowly feeding you and stretching your stomach to the point where you get a hernia and die. No. Why? Why would I say that? Winnie the Pooh doesn't deserve that. Hell. Doug, Water, Doug Walker put it best. There's people out there that can't stand Mickey. But Pooh? Nobody can bring themselves to hate Pooh, apparently. <laughs> and I can understand why. You know, Pooh is just the everyman of the Hundred Acre Wood. So, anyways, I think we were auto-saving there. And... God. We'll go see what Rue was dreaming about in the next video.